Warning. The following video is a case study of how gin possession can affect a person who is already dealing with mental illness. Mental illness is a real problem which requires immediate medical attention. If you or a loved one is suffering from mental illness, please contact your GP today. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Days before Ramadan, these two brothers decided to murder their entire family. Both brothers, admittedly suffering from mental illness, decided to murder their entire family based on this reason. This twisted way of showing their love caused them to murder their mother, their father, their little sister, their grandmother, before ultimately taking their own lives in that process. Before I continue, I would just like to say, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant the highest level of paradise to the family that was murdered. But what if this wasn't just mental illness? What if this was something a little bit more insidious, such as jinn possession? You see, Hollywood has corrupted our understanding of what jinn possession actually is, from twisting heads and projectile vomiting and levitation. We ultimately forget that one of the easiest forms of possession and influence is waswasa of the shaitan. Both brothers admitted to having clinical depression, which indeed is a mental illness caused by an imbalance of chemicals in our brain. But just like any imbalance or combustion, there must be a catalyst. And what if that catalyst is waswasa from a jinn? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in verses 4 through 6 in Surah Nas, from the evil of the lurking whisperer, meaning the shaitan, who whispers into the hearts of humankind from among the jinn and mankind. We learn from this that the evil whispers of the jinn and shayateen is not only a real thing, but has the ability to directly strike our hearts. Allah has assigned something to every single human being called a qareen. And the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explains the following. So we understand that there's an angelic force that inclines us to perform good. And the more we listen to that angelic force, the more that demonic force gets lower and quieter, making it sound like white noise. To strengthen that inclination towards that angelic force, one must be performing good deeds that helps us incline in the right direction. But now, let's talk about that demonic force. Versus that demonic force, which is always performing the waswasa, inclining you to stay away from the path of Allah by beautifying other sources of entertainment, ultimately to distract you from remembering Allah. This Qareen's waswasa gets stronger each time you listen to it, and it steers you away further and further away from the path of Allah. This Qareen is whispering the most dirtiest and nastiest low self-esteem types of incantations in your heart completely screwing up the balance that Allah has put in our hearts and in our minds. And this waswasa will incline you towards performing the most illogical evil thoughts out there. And with Ramadan approaching, it's only logical that these jinn and shayateen are getting worried about being locked up, so they cause you to perform more evil before they leave. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also calls us to protect us, not only from the whispers of the jinn and shayateen, but also the evil whispers and influences of other human beings. Now you add this with the influence of his brother who has his own evil thoughts and Karin, and you're left with the disaster. So if you're someone out there getting steered away from the worship of Allah, perhaps you're listening to the waswasa of your Karin without even realizing it. So you might be asking yourself, SQ, how do I protect myself from this demonic force? The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us that the person who recites the following 100 times in the morning, the shaitan will not be able to harm him until the evening. The one who recites Surah Nas, Falaq, and Ayat Kursi three times in the morning and in the evening each, no evil or harm can befall them. And of course, reciting the Quran regularly to protect you and ward you from all evil. That if you're someone struggling with depression, just know that it's probably a Qareen near you or around you causing you to have all these waswasa disturbing that chemical balance. And there's ways to fix that and remove this Qareen's waswasa from being so strong and striking your heart directly. Be continuous with your adhkar, read the Quran consistently, and of course, seek medical assistance as well. And until next time, I'm out.